Hey y'all, it's Danielle with Octane Design Studios and today we're talking about Magic Create. So the big elephant in the room today is all about Canva and Magic Create. I'm really excited to kind of demo some of these tools for you, especially for my clientele who uses me on a regular basis for graphic design, web development, and strategy. So these are all great new 10, actually, new tools that you can use right now in Canva. Let's check them out. So kind of new is the brain hub this is kind of where all your elements are going to be your colors all your things so very similar to brand kit this is what brain hub is going to be so um if you just click the try it out button it actually is going to bring up all of my assets in regards to um our clientele our colors for both octane and others you can see we have a dump for our logos for our clients um, we have a specific kit for the holidays and a specific kit for another client so as you can see we have a lot of areas where we can just kind of break down the hub. The hub is the brand kit, the brand templates, and the brand controls. Now, brand controls is something that was originally a part of Canva. They put it all within the brand hub. And for this specific reason, the brand controls are color control, font control, and design approval. Um, one of the most famous tools, I think, is the design approval because it allow if you're working in an agency type of setting, where you have multiple designers working on different things, junior designers versus senior designers, um, you're going to come across this design approval option if you want to use it. It pretty much gives you the ability to approve a design before it moves on to being where it needs to go. The next step is our Discover Translate tool. Now, this is magic to me. I love um, this tool. <laughs> it is super cool. We're going to try it out right now. All I'm doing is I'm taking the design and I'm just translating what's on that page into a different language. Now, let's just say I had more than one page. Um, it would automatically create however many pages that I'm translating into this piece, into this new uh, graphic. So I'm just going to hit the hello. And I want it to, obviously it's in English now. I can tell it's automatically detect and it kind of automatically knows. And then I want to translate it into something cool. Let's try Arabic. So hello and all of this down here, all of this will all translate into Arabic on a different um, Canva page. So I'm going to apply this translation to page one. We hit translate. The function completes. And there we have it, our original hello. And then our secondary page in Arabic saying also hello. Um, I love that it translated both the very fine print as well. Share your story. We're a global team working with amazing brands to create stories. It literally translates at the top and bottom. So this is such a neat tool. I really like it. I'm hoping more people use it because it is such a cool tool to have. Using Magic Right everywhere. Now, if you don't already use Magic Right, okay, if you don't already use Magic Right, you've got to do it. I mean, it's is such an integrated part of the evolution of AI. That's where this is going. So if you don't already use it, try it out. Write out five inspirational quotes from women. Um, write out, ask it to create um, a social media post in and around a certain specific topic, maybe in your industry specifically. Um, if you're a service, uh, write out some service CTAs um, that you could use throughout your social media marketing um, on whatever platform that you'd like to use it for. So again, I love Magic Right because I use it a lot. However, they have added some upgrades to Magic Right. Not only can you use it in the Magic Right in Canva Docs, you can now incorporate Magic Right in all the other areas of Canva as well, like presentations, which is going to be a really cool feature to have here in Five, five Trends. Five, let's talk about five. Um, what's it called when you go viral? Viral trends in social media. Hit the return button. One, two, three, four, five. Describe five viral trends in social media. Obviously, so this maybe this information you already knew. Maybe it's information you didn't already know. 
maybe this is a great way to use what's being shared here as a way to create content for other things. So again, this could become a carousel. Describe the five um, five viral trends in social media. And each slide is one. I think this is a great way to kind of start building content and thinking out loud about how we can um, content think. Now that we know how these tools work, let's move on to try out the Magic Edit and Eraser. This is the most popular one, I feel, out of all of these pieces. There's a few of them that are pretty amazing, but this is really amazing. So you can add, replace, or erase things in your image with Magic Edit. This is one of the best tools out there right now. I mean, it's really the game changer. This makes Photoshop look like what? Like, for real, this is a good run for Adobe if you're not trying to spend $600 um, a year. If you're a graphic designer of any kind, um, using Canva to create social graphics is like, this is magic. Brush over the tool. Okay, are we ready? We're going to brush over it. <laughs> okay, I brushed over it. Um, we're going to continue. And what do you want to be created over that? Instead of a daisy, do you want, um, how do you pronounce it? Is it peonies? Truly really the goodness. All right, we're going to generate. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, I love, look at these options. And you can always generate new results underneath, which I also really appreciate as well. If you don't like what you see, you can actually generate new results right here at the bottom and it'll just try again. Here we go. All right, we're going to brush over this cake. I'm going to size this up a little bit. There we go. So I don't have to work so hard. All right, so as this goes, we just go brush right on top. And as we brush right on top, we're going to hit continue. We're going to put cat, kitten, on top of the plate. And we're going to hit generate. Like, oh, relatable. Look at these kittens. Oh, my gosh. Adorable. I just put a kitten on a silver little plateau. Um, that's so cute. So this is just, again, one amazing way that we can use this tool. Um, I can't wait to use this for myself. Like, this is super nice. Now, we're going to try out the presentation tool um, using the Magic Create, using the Magic Design um, tool. So let's check that out. What is that? So we're going to break that down again. We're going to generate a presentation instantly with Magic Design. So you're going to skip a blank page altogether. You're going to type in the things that interest you. And then from there, it automatically creates your presentations. This is something that I need as a game changer for me when I'm creating um, brand concept presentations. And we're going to do a food blogger. And we're going to create a presentation based upon that. Explore the world of food. And you can actually see on the inside, like, what do these pieces look like? And I think this looks way better. Um, so I do see the benefit of working and using this type of tool and design. We can, I'm very curious to see how this actually compares to other um, AI pieces that create presentations. There's quite a few of them out now that are kind of up and coming. Um, the most anticipated for me would probably be the Microsoft uh, PowerPoint evolution they're using with the integration of AI. So this is one step in the right direction. Maybe I need to find a, a more niche topic, but this is a good start. The play with draw. This was something that was very, very, very exciting for a lot of people who were interested in incorporating more of their own personalization um, with Canva. Let's try that out. So currently, again, unleash your creativity with freehand drawing. So if you're a freehand drawer, you like the squibbles, you like the little hand doodles, things along those lines. And again, a great tool for someone who's more of a hand illustrator, not me. <laughs> but for those who do like that type of deal, this is game on, especially in the area of whiteboards. Okay, so doodles and draws. Let's take a look at this. Um, I love this tic-tac-toe. You can color between the lines. What? What? That's cool. I'm just curious, like, how does this even work? Can can we do digital coloring books now? Like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't draw very well. I love mazes, so we're we're. This is my jam. Hold on. 
oh, oh, oh. Now I don't want to line. What? <laughs> I win. <laughs> so I love this draw feature. I do like the fact that you can doodle, you can draw. For people who to the, um, I don't know what it's called. I forgot the name of it. But it's like when you do like a live event and you're taking like overall notes of the event and someone it's like hand illustrating um some of the um idea thoughts the mind mapping of some of the notes like making those notes into more visual illustrations this is key this would be so dope to have um because it is something very simple to put together i do like the fact that you can change out a lot of things you can create different types of shading and lines and things along those lines um, and I like the highlighting feature as well. So this can be highlighted without having to lose some of the typography that you're trying to read. So this is a good feature. I do like this. I think this is something that's very useful. I would love to use this um, for whiteboard purposes. Of course, we talk about magic design, which is the biggest feature. I feel like it's going to be the game changer for a lot of people, especially those who have no graphic design ability. Um, this, well, little to no graphic design ability, um, I should say. Um, try out magic design. Now, this is this was the hype for me, the, the highlight of some of the uh, content that was shared in Canva Create um, event last week. This is literally typing out or sharing a piece of what your design should look like or incorporating an image. And it immediately goes straight into um, a design piece curated by Canva. So we're going to try it out. Ha ha, there it is. So now we're going to try Magic Design after I uploaded that image. And from here, you can kind of see like where this is going. Um, you can see the different types of headlines. Um, wow. Ten. Wow. It went straight to there? Really? Wow. Fashion mistakes to avoid? What? Oh, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so there's some designs here that are kind of pre-made. These are posters. Facebook profiles, LinkedIn profiles, um, your story. So, I mean, if I didn't have words and it was just an image, this would work really, really well. We have a create animation, which is very um, cool. It's a really cool feature just because uh, we always struggle with getting animation in presentations here recently. Here we go. Click and drag. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. And you can change this to smooth, to steady, and you can control the speed. So if we wanted the speed to go super fast, um, if we wanted to go super slow, that's neat. So we create an animation. Look. Wow. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is so cool. I really like this. This is cool. This will definitely give an edge for people who are doing presentations. Beat Sync is, I think, is going to be one of my favorite tools because I use video editing already so, so much. And I really feel like what challenged this feature to come out was how much TikTok automatically has this feature. And now Instagram is slowly rising on that as well. So now that we know that these features are already happening in other areas, Canvas still wants to be a legit player in that game. So look, I'm interested to kind of see a sample video and try out the beat sync so I can kind of do it for myself. This is Canva is a great tool for video collaging and editing, uh, especially if you're creating reels, things along those lines. I've gotten into a really strong habit now of creating a Canva doc and breaking up the Canva doc into multiple different um, types of reels, reels for the month, reels for um, clients in a series, things along those lines. So I really do encourage this syncing option because it does seem like, okay, we're going to display beat markers and sync now. It does kind of showcase that um, this is something that's needed right within Canva community. So this is really neat. Um, I like how this works and it's very unique. Like it's very simple, right? Very, very, very simple. Um, this is a good tool. I'm for this. I think this is something that more people should be using. 
um, as they're creating content for reels, as they're creating content for videos, for ads, things along those lines, right? We're always worried about the aspect of putting music in the correct spaces in the right times. Um, Canva's making it pretty easy right now to kind of together to try out text to image. Now, text to image has already been out. It's been used multiple times in the past uh, with Canva. It's not necessarily a relatively new feature, but they've added some bells and whistles to enhance it to make it better. And if you haven't already tried out text to image, this is like game changing, right? This is on that mid journey AI type, whatever, find whatever, make it work for me um, situation. Highly suggest that you try this out because this tool is legit. So we are, it's creating a blank design. It's going to probably go straight into the app for text to image, which it currently is. All right. So I'm going to find an object. I want to find, wow, you've got to be kidding me. These look good. Something I wasn't foreseeing here. Um, and the styles that we're uh, currently the styles that we're looking for is none, but let's play around with some of these styles. Um, I want to see there's a dreamlike, which I think is kind of what we're seeing right now. Um, a neon and a filmic, a minimalistic and a vibrant. Wow. I mean, these styles are insane. I really dig these. Imagine having to create a quick like storyboard to convey a story and you weren't able to really articulate that because you're not an illustrator, but you have an idea. What did we just do? <laughs> like, this is insanely neat. I love this tool. It is so futuristic. Um, I definitely could create some freebies to give to some of our clientele based upon what we're looking for. Um, kids hair product. And we want to actually put this in like a 3D format. We're going to create again. So again, like mocking up bottles. I mean, like I'm thinking like ahead of time for the products that people want to purchase from us. Look, I mean, look how simple. Um, we just literally made this look. Super simple, super easy. Put a label on it. And that was Christmas dinner. I mean, for real. This is super cool. I love it. So again, easy ways for you to do mock-ups, easy ways for you to, you know, flesh out ideas, even if you're in like some sort of beta stage and thinking about objects, this is a great way to kind of map that out, kind of figure out what works, what doesn't work without having to go through all of the additional um, grunt work, if you will, in creating each and individual thing. Hey, if something resonated with you today, hey, let me know with a like or a subscribe, click the bell so you can continue to get new notifications and when new content drops, on this channel. Continue to follow Octane Designs on Facebook and Instagram and right here on YouTube. See you next time.